I want to go over how to use StatCrunch to do a one-way ANOVA. So we have a certain stats instructor participates in triathlons. The accompanying table lists time in minutes and seconds. He recorded while riding a bicycle for five laps through each of the three-mile loop. Uh, use a 0.05 significance level to test the claim that it takes the same amount to ride each of the miles. Does one appear to have a hill? So is there a difference? So first of all, for any, alter for any ANOVA, the null is going to be that all three are equal, so there's no difference between his three lap times. And the n alternative is going to be at least one of them is different. We're not going to be able to tell without doing a post hoc test if any are different. Um, we could, and StatCrunch will actually do that for you. But um, this itself just tells us that one is different. It doesn't tell us which one, though we can then look at the means and make uh, conclusions. Okay, so we're going to check that answer. Okay, now we need to run it. So I'm going to open up this, and I'm going to open in StatCrunch. And you'll notice here it's going to load really weird for this data, so make sure your data loads well. Um, so what I did, because there's probably a way, actually, can I figure this out? So this is 180 plus, can I... I don't feel like sitting here and figuring this out. Um, I don't usually use this. What I did, um, because I'm much more familiar with Excel, is I actually open this in Excel because I need to change this. I want just in complete seconds. Um, you could also do decimals in minutes, but it's easier just to do seconds. Um, and what I did is three minutes is 180 seconds, right? So 100. I don't know where my computer's going. So I did 180 plus B2, so the number of seconds. And then I just filled down, did the same over here, 180 plus D2, fill down, 180 plus um, F2, because all these were three minutes down. Um, so you can see three, 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 three. Then what I did is I copied these. So obviously you could probably do this all in StatCrunch. I just chose not to. And then I deleted these. So come here, delete, delete, delete. Then I come over here, I'm going to copy these. So this isn't going to be necessary on all the problems. This is just this particular one happened to be this. And you do need to pay attention to that. Make sure your data is in a way. So now I have the three uh, the number of seconds it took to do the three minutes. And I go to Stat. I go to Nova and One Way. Okay. I'm going to copy all the ones I want to compare. So in this case, miles one, two, and three. Okay. If they were in a single column, you could see here we could figure that out. Um, if you wanted the post hoc test right here, this two key would do that for us. Um, I don't need any of this other stuff, but you can see there's lots of cool stuff down here. So on your project, you might want to explore some of that. And I'm going to compute. So this is my results. So I'm going to come back here. Okay. So my F statistic is right here, 20 point, and they want four decimal places. So 20 point. Four one three zero. Yep. Okay. And then it wants the p-value, so that's right there. So that's point oh 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 one. Um, now this is way less than the point oh five, so we're going to reject. We do have significant evidence, sufficient evidence to say that there is a difference. Now we're going to look at our data here, and this is we're just kind of making some general conclusions. When I look at this, I can see that mile one and two are pretty close. There's like a two second mean difference, but mile three is significantly longer, like pretty much 10 seconds longer. So that tells me that there's something different, probably a hill. So yes, the, that the third mile appears to take longer, and a reasonable assumption is that it has a hill. So you can see here, this is how you run the ANOVA. Uh, StatCrunch does a really nice job, and mainly just, just like with Excel, you just need to make sure you can read the data. And it's nice that it also provides all this for you, and Excel does the same thing, that gives you the basic stats on each one individually.